Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to get hold of if you want to do this are some leaves, a blender, and a scale. And all you do is whatever leaves you've chosen, strip off the leaves, because you don't need the woody stalk bit, and wear them. Okay, so I've got 10 grams of leaves. I've no idea if that's a good amount or not. I don't even know what kind of leaf it is particularly. But that's the joy of experimentation. What you do is do one. If you think you can improve it, do another change in the concentrations and so on. Uh, you could bother to try and find out what kind of leaf it is and then stick to that kind of leaf and so on and so on and so on. Probably about the only thing you need to get is green leaves. If you get brown leaves, all the chlorophyll is gone. Now this process, obviously, we're going to chop everything up and we're going to get whatever extracts we get out of there. So it won't be pure chlorophyll, but the chlorophyll will certainly be in there. It'll be in there with other things as well. And you just have to accept that if you don't go through a huge amount of purification steps, that's what you've got. Now I've added 250 millilitres of deionized water and all I'm going to do now is blend it for 20 minutes. Again, I don't know if 20 minutes is a good time. I'm just going to give it a go and see. If you think it needs longer, give it longer. Just keep a note of what you do so you can vary it when you come to experimenting yourself. So let's give it 20 minutes. So at the end of 20 minutes, turn it off and filter it. And in order to filter it, I've got this filter set up here. It's a vacuum filtration setup because it makes it much quicker. If you don't, I imagine you could just filter it all by itself. Now you just need to wet the area of the filter paper first. So it forms a seal. Turn on the pump and filter it till it's filtered. And when you've filtered it, pour it out. This incidentally got filtered twice because I wanted to make sure there was no bits in it. And there it is, your nice green chlorophyll solution. Obviously there are other things in there, but there's definitely chlorophyll. So we don't want our chlorophyll in a water solution, which is what this is. We want it in a, a deeutectic solution, solvent solution. In order to do that, we need to make our deeutectic solvent, and we're going to make one from sodium chloride and monoethylene glycol. We're going to make it in a two to one molar ratio. So two moles of this, one mole of this. This weighs uh, 139 grams per mole, this weighs 62 grams per mole, so 13, 14 grams of this to 12 grams of this will be the right uh, molar ratio. So it's more or less a mass ratio of one to one. Now, there's a huge amount of difference with these, making these up. And um, again, everybody's kind of guessing about where it should be. So your guess is as going to be as good as anybody else's. What you really need to do is to make sure you keep a note and make changes where you want to make changes being the whole point okay so this stuff won't dissolve all by itself you need to heat it to about 80 degrees until it dissolves and as you can see it's quite a thick sort of sugary there and as it heats and dissolves it will just turn into a clear solution so once it's dissolved there's our deep eutectic solvent and it's all ready now i've made about 100 milliliters of this and i'm going to add 100 milliliters of my chlorophyll and what I want to do is get that back down to 100 milliliters. So I've turned this up to 95 and what I'm going to do is leave it stirring until that volume has reduced to 100 milliliters. So I will know that the water has gone and all that's left is a deep eutectic solvent. So it will then be chlorophyll in deep eutectic solvent. So after you've finished reducing it down, this is what you get 100 milliliters of green leaf extract. And that is our mysterious leaf solution one that we use in the uh, experiments on the solar cell from a leaf. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.